Thanks so much for joining us on this New Year's Eve. I'm Luana Munoz. Thousands of people in Orlando will head to downtown to ring in the new year. West Tucson, I give it a get a guess, is live there now tonight with how businesses are preparing for the big crowds. And tonight, New Year's Eve is one of their busiest days. How are they feeling about this? Luana, I don't know if you can hear the loud music right now, but that is how excited they are. There's a large stage set up just over my shoulder here at Wall Street Plaza. This New Year's Eve feels normal again after business owners struggle to survive the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, while they look forward to celebrating with thousands of people tonight, safety will be top of mind. Be ready to behave and have fun. All the sections are booked. It's almost 2023, but tonight thousands will party like it's 2019. For the first time since COVID changed the world, New Year's Eve parties will be back in full swing been rough for a couple of years. I think, uh, you know, we're finally getting back on track and we're feeling good about things. Wall Street Plaza will throw one of the biggest New Year's Eve block parties. Business owners like Ryan Davis from the other bar are preparing to celebrate with thousands. Anywhere from three to 7,000 people on this street alone and then the rest of downtown will be flooded as well. People will have to show their tickets and go through security checkpoints to get in most of the downtown parties. Orlando police have since upgraded security measures in downtown after a shooting in the summer left nine people injured. This weekend, officers will be working undercover and in uniform. Venues like Parlay will have extra staff. Security is going to be amped up. Uh, we're going to have double security today. The first, our first concern is the safety and that all customers are taken care of. In a statement sent to West 2, OPD said in part, we'll have increased patrol officers on duty as well as numerous officers working at venues and businesses that will be hosting visitors and events. Most parties in downtown require people to buy a ticket for entry, and a lot of these businesses tell us that Folks have also made reservations for tomorrow as well, which might also be a busy day for many people out here. Now, again, make sure you are alert of your surroundings when you are out. And Thornton Park is also expecting to see about 8,000 people for its New Year's Eve street party. We're live in downtown Orlando. Seneca Bergetigas, Washington News. All right.